Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be talking about my favorites for the last three months because I forgot to do the video at the end of February. So this video will be my January, February, and March 2021 favorites. I only do favorites videos every two or three months because I only want the products in these videos to really be true, tried and true, fully tested favorites. So you won't find anything like super new in here unless I've used it like literally nonstop since I've gotten it. But all of my favorites videos are really, really thoroughly vetted. Um, I don't want to be one of those people who throws up a favorites video every month just to have a video that goes up, right? So these are all actual like tested true favorites. I have eight products here. It's mostly makeup, but I have a couple of other products, so let's jump in. My first favorite that I really just want to mention right off the bat is from Shop Miss A. This is the AOA Studio Jelly Jam Lip Mask. So this is supposed to be like a dupe for the um, Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, and I've been using this nightly for how many weeks now? Like three or four weeks, and it's amazing. So I put on a good glob of this right before I go to bed. I'm, I put it on and it lasts all night. I wake up and I can still feel a little bit still on and it's super moisturizing, super nice. Like it feels luxurious, um, but also really moisturize my lips. And it got to the point where like I kiss my boyfriend goodbye whenever he leaves for work in the morning. And he recently has said, wow, your lips are like really soft and nice. <laughs> And the only thing I've changed is using this at night and I only use it at night. It is a little too thick um, to wear like over makeup or on underneath makeup um, unless you're not wearing any, any lip products because it is thick. It's kind of like a Vaseline texture to it um, and this one is rose scented so it is heavily scented. So if you don't like scented lip products you're not going to like this but if you like scented products and you're looking for a more affordable nighttime mask for your lips that's not the Laneige 20 something dollar you know tub this is my jam <laughs> literally it's the jelly jam oh, I didn't I didn't plan that oh and then I mentioned that's only a dollar my next favorite this is actually just about to become an empty um and I've had this for so long it lasts like literally forever this is the NYX glitter glue I I went through a phase of not using this as often but this just works so so well. It's affordable. It's around six or seven dollars if you get it at um, Ulta or Ulta Online. It just works so well to bring out the vibrance in glitters, but also to keep them attached to my hooded lids. This is a hooded lid person's best friend. This is right here. It's affordable. It sticks. It works well. And it's really versatile. You wouldn't think it'd be versatile, but it is. It works with a lot of different formulas for eyeshadows, um, but also you can apply it differently and it I didn't think it would work or appear or change the way that it worked with eyeshadows by just applying it differently like with my finger versus a brush but it does so there's actually a good example the Natasha Denona palette that I'm panning the Lila palette I hated how the glitter glue worked with the shades when I was just using brushes to apply it I changed and used my finger to apply both the glitter glue and the shade leagues better so experiment with it try it out but this works just so well and this little tube lasted me well over a year yeah so good favorite and I'm actually about to buy another one of these next I can't even count how many times this has showed up in a favorites video over the last year or so this is the Dermacol makeup cover I've been using this I don't think it's left my everyday makeup basket in months. It's fantastic and it lasts so long. This tube was $10 when I bought it and I bought it years ago. My first video, one of the first videos I posted to this channel, I used this very tube of Dermacol and it's still good. I just used it the other day as concealer. I love this. You can use it as a foundation. For me, it's like a really, really, really full coverage foundation that I really have to kind of sheer out to an extent but it's good. And you can mix this with moisturizer and make like a tinted kind of BB or a CC cream or a tinted moisturizer. It's great as a spot concealer, which is how I first started using it. And it's actually fantastic as an under eye concealer and an eye primer. So like, it's literally like all in one <laughs> and it's affordable and it's fantastic. I can't get enough of it. Next, this is kind of like a surprise favorite. I've had this for a long time, but only recently like hit pan in it and realized how much I enjoyed using it. This is from Burberry and this is the Dark Earthy Blush number 11. And it's a dark earthy blush, but really I use it as a contour. And this is a mini. I got a Burberry makeup mini kit like years ago at this point. It came like a mini lipstick, a mini this, a mini something else. <laughs> I don't have the rest of the products anymore, but I do have this and I did hit pan in it. You can see right there. I've just been using it as a contour. I'm wearing it today as a contour. I've worn it 
like the past month just as a contour and I realized how like perfect the shade and the undertone and the tone just was. It just works really well for my fair skin. I actually like the size of this even though it's technically a mini. This is like the perfect size for like a little contour powder. I really enjoy it. I love that it's got a little mirror. It feels fancy and like higher class without being like cumbersome and like you know how like Dior packaging can be extravagant but annoying just because they can because they're Dior. It doesn't feel like that. It feels nice. It's got some heft to it, but it feels nice. Like overall, I just I'm surprised by how much I actually enjoy <laughs> this product. And I'm going to keep using it most likely until I pan the whole thing, which I can say I can I can count on one hand the amount of bronzers I've fully panned. And this is the most expensive one. <laughs> Next, another product that's been in many of these favorites videos. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Risk Maker. This is a cream shadow, but I use it in my eyebrows. This is recently in my favorites again because I just bought a brand new one. So I had one, it's now in my empties basket. That lasted me, I wanna say at least a year. A year of just about everyday brow use. So I just picked up a brand new one. It's a little expensive at the drugstore if you're buying a cream shadow, but if you're buying it with the purpose of using it as a brow pomade for a year, that's affordable. It's more than affordable. It's fantastic is what it is. And it's the perfect like dark black shade because I'm shocked by how little options there are for brow pomades in actual black. Most companies only do dark, dark brown. I wanted it black, like blue black almost. And this is just perfect for what I needed it to be. And I panned a whole one, rebought another one. So to me, that is the true test of a favorite. A, if I buy it. B, if I use up the whole thing. And C, do I buy it again? Next, I believe this has been in at least one of my other favorites videos, but I pulled it back out again to use in this month's makeup basket, and I was reminded by how much I love this and how much I really want to buy more shades in this line. This is from NYX, and this is the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick. So this is the green shade. Actually, I think it's teal, technically. Yeah, this is intense teal. This is the most pigmented, long-lasting liner I've used in my waterline ever. I tried like liners from Colourpop, from Tarte, from higher like Lancome brands. This lasts literally all day to the point where it's almost hard to take it off at night. And it's bright, bright, bright pigmented. So currently in my Ulta cart, I have like eight other of the, eight other shades of this. I want a black, I want a white, I want a yellow, I want a purple. I want everything in this in this formula because it lasts so long and it looks so pretty on the waterline can't emphasize that enough. And it's a huge pencil. It'll last so long. I think they're typically $8, but you can get them on sale. Like the when I first put them in my basket at Ulta, they were buy two, get one free. Amazing. They're not on sale like that anymore because it's like 21 days of beauty right now. And eventually, so I'm just waiting for them to probably go on sale again. But even if not $8 for a liner this good, I think is worth it. Next, we have a, a palette favorite that kind of came out of left field for me because I'm seeing it through a new lens. This is the ABH Norvina palette, and I am loving this because A, the original ABH formula is just mwah, it was amazing. I don't know like if their new palettes are the same formula. I don't think they are, especially the big Norvina palettes, but the original Norvina palette, these shades, using them with my pen that palette has just Ah, like everything that is not in my pan that palette like is here and like I've got beautiful bright inner corner highlights these shimmers are buttery they're just buttery and beautiful and I like having the extra variety in the matte shades because like in the um Lila palette I've got shades very similar to these too but these are a little bit darker a little bit brighter and so I can get more complex looks combining the two palettes together and so this the Lila palette has really made me appreciate the original Norvina more and vice versa. It also made me a little nostalgic for when I was panning subculture. So again, <laughs> I just kind of had some happy memories with the ABH formula and I'm glad I'm kind of able to go back there while also working on my new Pan That Palette project. All right, and last but certainly not least, these nail polishes have been in so many of my favorites videos because they really, they're really the best. Um, quite a few repurchases. Oh, I'm so glad I caught that from Holo Taco. <laughs> Okay, so each one of these three polishes are ones that I bought, completely used up, and then I bought 
backups of. Not backups of, because I'm actually actively using them, so they're not really backups. First is One Coat Black. My current One Coat Black is just about finished. Um, I just used it the other day just to finish this nail look, but it's just the best black nail polish. I love black nail polish. I'm actually, this is the one day like I'm not wearing black. I know, shocking. But I love this black nail polish. It's so great, long lasting, and just fantastic. My other two favorites, I have the, I have the polish Rainbow Snow, which is like a really opaque, beautiful silver, which is perfect for like the holiday times, but also silver just matches just about everything. So it's so much fun. I love this. It's very opaque. I normally do between two and three coats per, you know, nail look, but it looks fantastic. I think this one has to be like my favorite nail polish overall from the Hollow Taco line. And this is the Flaky Hollow Taco. I, f I think I finished mine like a long time ago. Like this was the one of the first polishes I bought from the brand when I bought like their very beginning like intro box and this was in it. Unfortunately, they were out of this because they had to like source the flaky hollow and it was like very scarce and they couldn't get it. Uh, now it's back in stock, so yay. <laughs> and so I got this, but not only this, I got the gold flaky hollow too. And I'm actually wearing the gold flaky hollow today. Not, I don't like it as much as the silver because I think the silver just matches more, but it's still stunning, the gold. And I'm glad I now have two bottles of the Flaky because out of the other Hollow Tacos, because I do have every Hollow Taco, like the actual top coats, I have most of them, um, but these are my favorites. I love the Flaky. I like how thick and kind of chunky the little pieces are and they're kind of scattered and they look really pretty in the light. They're just so cute. I don't know if I can show it on my iPhone camera here. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so in the iPhone light, like the flashlight, you can kind of see the actual rainbows in the polish. Yeah, so the original Flaky Hollow Taco is my favorite, and I just recently got the gold Flaky Hollow Taco, so really pretty. Now this one, I can't really call it a favorite because I literally just got it and I've only worn it once, but I picked up the shade Mint Money, and it's a beautiful, beautiful mint shade. I really do like it, but I haven't worn it as much as the other shades to get like call it like an actual favorite, but I did purchase it in the same order with the rest of these repurchases. Alrighty, so those are all of my recent favorites from 2021 so far. Let me know down below what your recent favorites have been and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Also, since I'm not wearing black, this actually says uh, cuddles and coffee, which is exactly what I want right now. <laughs> Cute.